Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we will add some new thing in our bypass like safe exit button and some codes and then we will get the lib outside of the game loop and we will try to find out the emulator bypass function okay in lib and augs i will tell you how to get that out and work on that okay so first uh, let me add a new button here you can create a very beautiful design here but i am just uh, making simple design because we don't have an enough time go to properties my laptop is slow so you will need to adjust with it like this okay so here, here we need to add some codes of uh, it will exit the game loop ex or game loop en that is running behind. So I already have uh, written written codes for that. Okay, in this codes, uh, what is happening? This is. Uh, this line will actually find the process of this name okay it will find the process of this name if it is running it will kill that process okay you can write application dot exit okay like it's uh, not uh, compulsory you can add it or you cannot uh, you do not add it like okay it's up to you get the libs outside of the game first for that purpose you will need to run the game loop first okay to get all the libs of the game out you will need to run the game loop first so let me open the bypass we will do that uh, using our bypass yeah, like this Okay, start emulator. Now emulator is started. Now I will share these files with you. This file, okay. I have written a command in adb command inside it to pull all the libs outside in this folder, okay. So what will happen? Uh, first of all, you will need to go to game loop settings and you will need to enable the adb debugging, okay. After you enable, you restart your game loop and then you can use these commands what i will do i will just run this pullback file okay like this now it will create a new folder here arm folder okay you can see it is uh, like get uh, it is extracting all the libs uh, from the emulator here in this folder arm folder let it finish first then we will open libanox.so i will tell you from which libs you can bypass emulator detection and we will work on it step by step okay now in this arm folder you can make the emulator bypass like emulator detection bypass or whatever it is called from libanox.so and from libui4.so okay actually the main emulator detection functions are present in libui4.so it's the main lib of the game major functions are present in this libui4 and the functions present in all other libs are being controlled by the functions present in libui4.so so we can make the bypass from libanox.so and from libui4.so also for now we will work on libanox uh, let's try our safe exit button it, it is working well very fast okay now you will need to open this libanox.so in this ida pro 7.7 .7. i will share its uh, link in the description of the video i already have uh, you just uh, you will just need to extract it like this ida pro 7.7 .7, and you will need to run this okay after it is run now you can open the libs and augs inside it 
where was desktop here new folder disarm and this is our libanox.so okay now the size of libanox.so is only 4 mb so it will take less time to load inside the ida but if you want to load a big lib like it's 14 mb and the most important this lib it's about 159 mb okay so it will take a huge time that will depend upon the computers uh, like uh, how fast your pc is okay or laptop whatever for now we need to open the libanox here you do not have to select anything just press ok it will be loaded inside emulator uh, sorry in the ida okay here if we go to exports there is a function nosdk iocdl old okay so actually this function is related to emulator detection there's a function inside this function that uh, detects and confirms that it is emulator or not so this like nosdk iocdl old is uh, related to emulator detection here you can go to view and uh, here you can click on this strings okay it will show all the strings present in in this lib libanog.so okay now here you press ctrl plus f to search something like anything you can search here here we will write emulator Okay, emulator here you can see emulator name related function like this function maybe it is detecting the name of emulator and uh, this function is related to maybe like emulator was bypassed but uh, later emulator was detected and then this function will be run okay for now we have to bypass the emulator detection we will go with this function emulator that is detecting emulator name so the logic is for example this function is detecting the name of emulator so if we go back if we reverse this function there will be a function that is detecting emulator after detecting emulator then it is detecting its name okay so we can find the function that is detecting the emulator okay we will reverse it you can uh, you will need to double click on this here now here you have to press ctrl plus x ctrl x okay here you can go with anyone like it's a same function here you can see 7084 7084 7084 so it's the same function okay here you will need to press f5 okay why we are pressing f5 f5 after pressing f5 you will see the whole codes Okay, whole codes of the function here you can see go to label 2 you can reverse it uh, from here like fr uh, from where label 2 is being called from all these are colors of label 2 but I will go directly to that function that is detecting the emulator okay I will let me find it's actually the case 10 Here you can see okay this is the function that is detecting the emulator how i know if you open any old lib of the game like 2.1 lib 2.3 2.4 pubg 2.4 or 3.0 maybe i don't know at that time lib was encrypted or not so you will easily find why i am <laughs> selecting this this function is like the name of this function is encrypted now but this function name is actually nosdk iuctl old zero okay this function the real name of this function is nosdk uctl old zero you can find in any old library of the game like any previous version you will see it clearly okay we will go in this function here it is 
so from here it is starting this is the main offset of this whole function but we cannot patch it we cannot patch it if i go back in the pseudo code here here we can see it's 10 okay so in this function if i scroll down for now we cannot uh, see its pseudo code because it's encrypted here in this update here you can see it has a lot of cases inside it now what's what's the basically cases people see send me any case of nosdk uctl basically cases are not related to nosdk oh sorry libanox.so in the c++ uh, like we uh, when we write a function we can create cases inside it like libanox.so there are a lot of functions in which cases are present so cases is not important thing but in this function nosdk uctl old zero in this function cases are important because here we can see the value of a1 is 10 okay here you can see it's the 10 value it's actually case 10 i cannot uh, tell you the exact list until i open any old lib so i do not want to open any old lib for now uh, i will show you in next uh, video maybe we will find case 10 here in this function here you can see it's case 1 case 7 uh, 70 73 so what we can do here alt plus t here i will type case 10 it's the case 10 okay in this function here you can see 10 value I am not able to teach you in the best way because the lib is encrypted and if I open the old lib then you can bet better understand but I do not uh, I will not uh, open the old lib for now so in if we patch this function this whole function we can bypass the emulator detection or if we go inside this function we can if we patch this function we can bypass the emulator detection also so okay now lib is completely loaded in idea i will copy this offset you can copy it from here also make sure you from here sorry this function you can patch Control C. Beginners will not understand what is happening here. Maybe yes. I am not sure. Sorry about that. I will open the old lib next time so you can understand better. This offset. This is offset, and we can patch it using this hack. Hacks value. This will be the offset and this will be the replace value. And what after bypassing emulator detection, you will get two months ban. Like if we bypass this, uh, if we patch this function, emulator will be bypassed, but after some time, emulator will, will be detected by any other function because there are there is no single function that is uh, checking emulator there are multiple functions that are being run by the uh, being run by the game to check the emulator so how you how we can fix the two months ban <laughs> functions are also calling this function to detect any kind of thing related to emulator maybe so we will patch them all okay let me copy all okay uh, in this video we uh, we are done in next video we will patch these offsets using our exe bypass okay take care Allah face